and now we are live hello everybody and welcome back me and sophie salute you <laughs> yes <laughs> it's been uh it's been a few weeks it's been a, i think it has just been one week but it sure. has been yeah no we, we didn't do skip... anything oh yeah yeah we skipped one week so it's been two we weeks we skipped since. last yeah, week only week. but yeah. it's been so eventful that it feels like <laughs> it was such a such a long time ago hey but this was not the exercise i wanted to start with mm -hmm. so let me fix this i wanted to start with this one hi extensory course and um, i agree i think the the thumbnail uh is so cool the new thumbnail yeah our, our designer is very talented i love it as well <laughs> I look like a superhero. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there is a little bit of like superhero energy in that picture. <laughs> I have to, I, I should ask for that picture, maybe make it my profile picture. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. So, um, yeah, this is the, the position that we are going to start with. Sophie, I'm if you want to flip it, right no. if you want to flip it. I have to board. sleep on the back side. Yeah, the Ivanchuk is black. Today we are look, going to look at Ivanchuk's games. Uh, and we have some, uh, some beautiful games to see. And guess what? Me and Sophie are both in Bucharest today. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and I just have to do... Aluga has been so nice. She's been bringing me groceries. Food. I've been feeding pie, her. <laughs> uh, making sure that I don't starve to death right, while I'm here. But uh, the quarantine will be over in in four days yes four days. finally so she'll, be able, she'll be able to up. leave the room <laughs> yeah we're not we have a balcony though so we do get a little bit of outside air but it's uh it's going to be good when we can go out for real. but you have a very nice apartment there i like your background yes it's very um, i don't know what way it's lean it's very like they have a lot of film posters and it's all red and black and white very cool place <laughs> i like it yes yeah. Looks very nice. I'm going to investigate after you leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can come here and investigate while we're here. <laughs> okay, so shall we start? Yes. Now we're going to start with this one against Iron Sibia. Um, because it's um, it's something that I wanted... Well, we have seen before, but I wanted to refresh your memory about this idea. And it also ends in a beautiful attack, so it's just perfect for <laughs> for our... Uh, stream today so how do we how do we play here with black oh no we are not roommates eccentric horse uh, Sophie has her own apartment <laughs> she's just five minutes away from me yeah then I she... can't go out and shop right now so. no because she needs to stay uh, 10 days in isolation she was coming from Italy and uh, we had Italy on uh, on the yellow list, which yeah. means she needs to quarantine. Yeah. And get a test. Both mm. <laughs> so. And get a test, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but on Sunday, we will be out uh, sharing an eclair or whatever. <laughs> an eclair, that's the small uh, cake things, right? The small cake things, yes. Okay. So this is black to play. Black to play, yes. And usually these are tactics. Yeah, we start with a tactic today. Yeah. Um, I mean, taking on C3 is something I guess we should at least consider. Hmm. Uh, taking on C3 and then when white takes back, maybe we could go for D5 so that the bishop is threatening to take on A3. Um, I'm not sure if I see anything like if it's winning on the spot or anything, but it's surely it no. it's, takes some initiative. Uh, another plan could be maybe to go here with the queen and then go for b4. Mm -hmm. Queen a5 Even and though... yeah, something like that, that. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Maybe people in the chat have any. What well, the most forcing, I think, is usually... Taking on c3? Yeah. Taking yeah, on c3. That's also what Killer V and Extensive Chorus are saying. Yeah. 
queen uh, rook takes c3 is what he played and of course after b takes c3 uh killer v wants to play queen a5 which is the best move uh, yeah this would have been hmm, very much uh, probably very close to winning right away and on king b2 the point is that you do have d5 uh, yeah and uh, all pieces get in it's it's typical. No, this rook takes c3. We have seen it in the um, um, in the accelerated dragon, mm. but with uh, short castles. So it's it's a sacrifice that uh, works very well in well, with the king on the ki on the queen side even better. But yeah. in the game, queen a5 wasn't played. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I. Uh, <laughs> we are having the right title for once. Don't you worry. I've uh, I've found the uh, the trick. I have been let into the secret of having the right title. Apparently, we have the right title from now on. Like uh... yes, because apparently the reason why uh, I didn't have the right title on Twitch is because Twitch didn't like the title, so it kept rejecting. Ah, because was it because of the deadly? You think? I think so, but um, then I tried the same title with WIM in front of my name and it didn't want WIM. So maybe it's the title, <laughs> the WIM that Twitch rejects. I don't know what that could be. Probably means something yeah. that is not, it's banned or something. So yeah, <laughs> have to investigate. <laughs> Coming okay. back here. So here he plays knight to c5, which doesn't yeah. look like a bad move because queen a5 is, is still going to happen. But there are some nice lines here. Bishop takes f6. And in this position, white has an amazing resource that okay, I can give you some time to think about. I'm going to flip the board. How can white defend here? It's really an amazing position where white has, has something. He didn't find it in the game. It's not obvious at all. It's, it's very complicated. <laughs> but it makes a, a nice uh, calculation exercise, a good calculation exercise. Okay, so what is what Black's threat here? <laughs> Black wants to uh, probably still go here with the queen. Yes, queen a5. And then, then we might have to one for it at some point. Yes, if queen a5, uh, then game over. You can't go here directly because then the knight would be hanging. Um, like I'm saying, if it's black to move and black played queen a5, then king d2, bishop would take on d4. Uh, so. Yes, bishop d4, yeah, it's winning yeah. the knight. I don't know, maybe we could run for it first. So <laughs> if you run for it now and then queen a5, we have time to do something about this knight, or we could maybe go. Mm. But maybe e4 my, is hanging as well. Yeah, e4 is hanging. There was a suggestion here by eccentric horse, e5. Yeah. But you don't really want to threaten bishop h7. e5 is the idea in this position. Because the, it seems to be something on the d file. No? You want to open the, the rook and somehow get everybody out. Oh, nice. We have a full line from Killer V. E5, D takes E5, F takes E5, Bishop takes E5, Knight takes B5. And yeah. if A takes B5, Bishop takes B5, and you win the Queen. Um, I think I just have to see... <laughs> to see, to believe it? <laughs> uh, e uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, really... Yeah, e5, d takes e5. Yeah. And here, okay, f takes e5. Ah. But do we need f takes e5? Actually, here I have knight takes e6. Yeah, you have to move the knight. Ah, yeah, okay, now I get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but maybe knight. Oh, this is a nice difference. Okay, so if f takes e5 in this position, then black can go knight bishop g5? That's correct. Bishop g5. Can you see it? I'm going to refresh. Wait. Yeah. 
Bishop g5 can be played and black will have time to either close the defile or move the queen away from d8. Yeah. Queen a5. Oh, this is a nice point here. Thank you. I'm going to add it to my <laughs> analysis. So, we're not, so instead of taking back on e5, we go knight takes b5 directly? Knight takes b5, I think, is less forcing on your knight takes b5. Let me see. Can I play again queen a5? And hi, Juan David in the, what is this? YouTube chat? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, yes. Where is Ivanchuk? He's just here uh, in spirit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's very much here in spirit. He's just uh, here with us uh, through the games. Mm. Knight takes b5. I think queen a5 is the first thought. Oh, just get out of here. Don't take the knight. So we're supposed to take an e6 instead. And knight d6, maybe. King e7, I'm thinking. I don't know what's happening here, but it looks like a complete mess. Queen a3 yeah. is check. <laughs> but I feel like black should still be on top. Because if we take on e5, queen a3 and bishop g5 are there. Yeah, and the rook gets out as well. And the rook gets out as well, yeah, rook b8. But the difference with knight takes e6 is that this is kind of forces black to take. Because the knight on a5 is, or knight on c5 is also hanging. So to whatever move I'm going to take on c5. Mm. And now if knight takes, bishop takes b5. Okay, and you win the queen, there's a lot of pieces for the, the queen though. We have yeah, that's pieces. actually an interesting <laughs> position. It is, no? But it's basically gives white fighting chances. Yeah. It's not even clear that... Mm, don't know what it is. Three pieces for the queen, but the king is in the center. Maybe not taking with the king. Bishop takes, I think, makes more sense. To maybe castle at some point. So bishop takes d8 and it's a it's a very complicated position. White mm. is definitely not getting mated, which is the point in this position no? where you start from. <laughs> but it's also a very complicated line. So, so this could have happened after this knight. could have happened. Yes, after knight c5, uh, e5 was an option, but white went for rook e1, and now we transpose to our ideas with queen a5. Mm -hmm. And he does play e5, but it's too late now. Ivanchuk takes, very precise here. And bishop g5, same ideas as before. If king b2, we probably go knight a4. In this position, right? And queen c3. Um, and he plays king b1. And what pawn to take here? None. Oh, we have to definitely <laughs> take. If you take the c pawn, we lose the queen. Sorry? Right? Oh, yes. If queen takes... Yeah. I was thinking about <laughs> taking on c3, but then bishop takes b5. b5 would have been pretty, uh, pretty huge mistake. Yeah, that's true. No, but queen a3 is probably fine in this position. Followed by either knight a4 or bishop d5 again. Mm. I think it's pretty much the same. He starts with bishop d5, but then comes queen a3. There is a check here. <laughs> it's a spy check. Spy check. <laughs> spy check. Revenge check, yeah. Now you're in Romania, you have to say revenge check. <laughs> revenge check. Say revenge check. <laughs> so, yeah, this is game, game over. He took on d5, but... Ivanchuk doesn't take. White is hoping, I think, for some queen c8 ideas. Yeah. In case of pawn takes d5. And then there's some queen c5. But knight a4. Mm. And that's that's it. Nothing more. No. Okay, so now let's go to... I have uh, 
some very nice games that I, I really want to show you. So let's go directly to those. The first one is uh, his win against Sergei Karyakin. He's with the white pieces. And so I'm going to flip the board. And we have this theoretical position where Ivanchuk played uh, a novelty at that time. I'm going to give you some, th some time to think here. This is white to play, right? It's white to play. Maybe you guys know it. Okay, there's yeah. something going on with that king still being in the center. Um, first move I looked at was knight e6, but then black takes here and it's with check. And then <laughs> he can probably, he okay, can't castle next move, but he can, it's, it's the queen. It looks uh, too ambitious. Um, Sorry, so knight e6, I was just reading the comments that Perpetual Stalemate <laughs> says that he could teach you some better Romanian words to show spite. <laughs> I think ah. so. <laughs> yeah, I had to learn some Romanian. I spent but not those months. words, Sophie. Yeah, not those I, words. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so good with language actually. Okay, let's see here. So knight takes e6 is not working because of bishop takes e3. And right, it's and it's check. check. Yeah. So what about bishop takes uh, e6? Mm -hmm. Then what? Um, then maybe if nothing else, black could castle. I'm not sure if that's, I mean, then we probably want a pawn, but I'm just seeing if, okay, short castle. You also it's have probably to. probably okay, then we can go back. But if it takes, that's probably the critical. Yes, line. but also you have to see there's something hanging on d4, so it's, have to wonder yeah, about yeah. that. Oh, so you think if I take an, but if I take an e6 and he takes a d4, don't I have a. Discover check, but then he can take my queen. Mm -hmm. And I could go and... No, I can't. <sighs> I'm just going to look a little bit more inside. Okay, I'm just going to say queen takes e6 is also... Um, that's the most forcing for sure. <laughs> but... <laughs> would you go for it? Uh, no, probably not. I'm just going <laughs> to see, like, taking back here. Okay, then we threaten the queen. But if the queen then moves somewhere, okay, black doesn't have any checks as far as I can see. So black has to move the queen somewhere, I don't know, here maybe. Then what? We could... D8 is well protected, we could take on G7. Uh, then he only has E7 and F8. If he goes to e7, then maybe we can bring in the other rook. Mm -hmm. um, then he, he would probably have to go to f8 anyway. So probably he would just go straight to f8 instead of this. So after knight takes g7 check, he would go to f8. You take an F6 then. What have you got? We, but we only really got two pawns and a piece for the queen. And an attack. Yeah, a huge attack. No, you you can't see the win, but you feel like there's a lot there. Yeah, I feel like you would have included it if it was not to, if yeah. queen takes e6. If it wouldn't so, be okay, queen takes. Actually has, uh, maybe it's queen takes e6, f takes e6, knight takes f6, e6, uh, queen b6, and then rook e1 could also be um, considered. Even though like taking on g7 if it because the knight on f6 then is hanging. Yes, queen takes e6 is what he played. There are many games played like this after... But he, was the, this game. But he was the first one to play this sacrifice, queen takes e6. And he played this against Karyakin in a rapid game in 2008. So takes over here, knight takes, and here black has options. Queen b6 is the one that you are looking at, right? 
Uh, yeah. And here we want to take on g7, king f8, knight back. And where is the king going, right? There's no safe place no. for the king. Because if he goes back to e8, then ideas with rook e1 are possible. Yes, takes over here and rook e1. And the knight on f6 is also hanging. Yeah. Yeah, the bishops and rooks are really, really <laughs> happy in this position. Yeah. It's very difficult to defend. It's actually as white is better here. It's not even uh, close to equal or anything. And if rook d8 here, we have knight d5. And bishop takes, bishop takes. No, actually, take on e7 first. Ah, okay. Queen e7, bishop d5. But so many pawns. Ah, okay. So we end up being down in exchange, but having three pawns for that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's plenty of material. Yeah. Yeah, everything is hanging. Attack on e7, and if he doesn't go to e8 and goes to f7, just to show you some fun lines here. Take on c5, of course. And here, rook d6 is again very pretty. And king takes g5? Yes, king takes g5. Knight. <laughs> one, some of, one of the knights. But I don't want to uh, swap off too many pieces. <laughs> What do Knight we play here? Six. Or h h four h four king f five. There's so many moves to uh, consider. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. H four king. King goes back, maybe. King h5, I think, the one that you're looking at makes sense. King h5, but then at least we can take this one, maybe. Oh, then C the, our knight is hanging as C5 well. C5 is also hanging, yeah. Yeah. Because maybe we do want to give this check, but then if he goes here. <sighs> <laughs> this is a very complicated. Uh, was this just was this what happened in the game? No. Oh, okay. Karyagin went to e5 in the game, which I think makes things easier. I'm just gonna remove the errors. Okay, there are some ideas uh, in the Twitch chat. Some good ideas. Yeah. Uh, rook takes f6. Ah, of course, and then knight e d7. Okay, that's a good one. Rook takes f6, yes. Yeah. And if king takes, then you go knight d5. Okay, a good point here that queen takes c5 does not work, right? We have knight e4 in this position. Or knight c7. It's funny because I saw the other knight move. Sorry? In uh, just the move before that, um, after <laughs> just after taking on f6. Yes. And uh, knight d5, okay. I was looking at uh, knight uh, d7 after king takes. Oh. Which okay. is just funny because I saw the uh, instead of. Yeah. Knight d5, you but saw knight d7. Maybe this is more because you include the other knight, but yeah, I just saw knight d7 first. The other one wins the queen uh, back, but I think. Uh, this way you get with more, you remain with more yeah. pieces. Yeah, and then the uh, bishop on b7 is still hanging, so. Yeah. yeah. Yes, this is terrible for black. Congratulations on your birthday, uh, script charts. <laughs> Happy birthday. 
happy birthday. Okay, what else is here? Queen takes c5 is also here, but well, this seems easier. Just take on f6. Again, if takes on g5, we will have knight e4. Mm. And if the king runs back, <laughs> then it's, it's, it's very nice the geometry with the queen and the king because it's always there. So bishop h6 here. Yeah. And knight e4. And takes on c5. And, and, takes, and still we have three pieces for the exchange. Yes. Three he can, pawns. Three pawns. Three pawns, yeah. He can yeah. take on h6 and then we take on b7. Mm. Take here and take on b7. All this just to remain an exchange down. <laughs> no, of course. I was white is much better in that yeah. position. So this is queen b6. Um, there's also queen to e7 in this position, to which rook e1 can be played. Mm. And here knight takes e5 is a big threat that, that black needs to stop and it's very difficult to do so. Okay, combined with uh, every other threat, knight g7 and, and so on. So the best move for black would be to take on e6. Give back the queen and play this position. White still has a lot of pressure, bishop d5 here, but uh, it's no longer that bad. No, it's, it's starting to get takes. And here, rook d8. Okay, we are a piece down with white. Yeah, but many pawns with Sorry. the knight. Take on e7. Yeah. Uh, uh f6. Actually, I, th I was thinking. Knight f6, king f7. I think. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe we could take on d8. It's but we're still gonna end up having a lot of pawns for the. Yeah. But this time it's a whole piece. So this time it's a whole piece. Hey. Yeah, it's a bit more tricky. That's so true. knight f6. You were suggesting king f7. And uh, here you wanted rook d8, but I take. And rook a6, I can take on f2 probably. Yeah. High chances that this is going to be a draw. Careful with bishop e3 check and mate on d1. Yeah. But <laughs> other than yeah. that, knight g4 probably. I mm. was thinking. High chances that white gets. Uh, the rest of the pawns, but this is the best uh, best way to defend for black. Here you don't have to take on f6. Uh, also, you can also take on e7 and take on a6. There yeah. are some ideas here that if bishop takes e7, now you can take take on a6. There's a threat of rook a8. Uh -huh. We have three pawns for the piece. I guess it's still uh, still uh, high chances of making a draw here. And there's another move uh, in this position that Kariakin played uh, later in a later game. He played also bishop d6 here. Um, no, actually Kariakin was white in this game and he faced bishop d6. To which he replied as rookie one. Not taking the queen yet, and only now take here. Takes on g6 and knight d5, and the game eventually uh, ended in a, in a draw. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say poor Kayakin, but. No, he. He couldn't, he didn't win this. Okay, black defended well. I guess the. Uh, this line had already been studied by 2010. People know, knew what to do. Uh, he was caught by surprise here and in the game he played queen to e5. To which comes knight takes g7. Same, back here. And he plays king to f7 in the game. Uh, better was king to e7. And of course rook e1 is coming again. Yeah. 
Black King has nowhere where he doesn't no, step no. in. <laughs> it's a funny, funny situation for the king. Yeah. Every, everywhere he goes, it's, it's going to be in check. Some discovered attack happening. And here, Bishop F2 should be the best defense. Give back the queen, but is the pressure. Knight G7 here. It's also crazy, no? Yeah. <laughs> knight g7 and knight h5 was the, was the plan. Takes here, now rook f1. And bishop d4? Bishop d4, we have and knight, knight f5. f5. Yeah. Yeah. There's something everywhere. Rook f8, and rook f2. And again, here we get to an equal position. Knight f5, king d7 complicated still but yeah probably equal with correct play but let's see the game king f7 and now he plays rook e1 same idea trapping the queen in the center trapping the king and here again bishop takes f2 same idea as we were seeing previously uh, was best but this is uh, something very difficult to find over the board, I imagine, for anybody. So he plays queen takes e1. What do you do here? Mm, okay, so we have we can either take the queen or we can move the knight with a discovered check. So probably we take the bishop first, right? On c5, and then we take the queen next move. Yes. Yeah. First the in-between move, knight c5, and then you get the queen. Agreed. Rook e1. Lose the bishop, but win the bishop, no? <laughs> yeah. And now how much material do you do we have for the the exchange? E three pawns. Three I pawns think. again, yeah. And a very bad king on g5. Knight d4, and now come come back home, knight d6. And now he plays, it's very instructive the way he plays, no, f3 here. Just to limit the opponent's pieces and create create outposts for the knights, create a mating net against the king. b4, now he plays knight e4. And takes with the rook. Mm. Just to keep an eye on the king. Yeah. Both captures would have been fine, I, I guess. A takes b3. He tries to create some counterplay with a5, but it's not too successful. Rook g4. Okay, this doesn't really end in a beautiful checkmate, but the idea that leads to this endgame is it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm. I mean, I, I'm guessing he must have prepared this. I imagine yes, because yeah. rook takes e6 is rook h4, and he he won this. Takes here. And now he plays knight c5. It's mm. funny here that rook takes c7 uh, is actually a mistake. Rook takes h7, sorry. What will black play here? Let's solve this. Let's get Puzzle. some rook a1, rook d8, just harassing the king. Uh, which way do you start? Rook a1 first? Uh, or? Rook d8, probably. That's the weapon's checkmate. Rook d8, yes. Yeah, so rook d8, oh, rook d8, uh, then if king b1, mm -hmm. well, that's king <laughs> rook d1, of course. <laughs> so that's the only stopping one of the books. Okay, so then we have to move a pawn here. Um... If this pawn, then b3 and no, no. black keeps the threat. No? Wait, so rook d8, you are looking at king b1? Uh, no, the good okay. uh, rook d1 was made. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking now at rook d8, uh, c3, but okay. then I think b3 and black still has the threat. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have to go b3. But then it still looks very... 
uncomfortable with like rook a1 check king b2 mm -hmm. maybe rook d1 and and then b1 is uh ah right i was looking at rook a8 actually in that position but yes uh yeah yeah, rook, yeah maybe that's rook d1 better. also yeah so not easy at all huh? after rook d8 there is one way to escape everything and that's by giving a perpetual but rook d8 is the move and now luckily white still has these ideas here knight d2 just try to to play for a draw <laughs> hide yeah. the knight on b1 basically no and it's hope getting for the best ugly now i think even though the pawns on the king's side could be strong yeah, yes but I agree that white has to be very careful now. For example, here already c3 would be a mistake. No, you can run into these mating nets anytime. Rook b1 is checkmate. Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice one. So here rook e1 has to be played. And in the end here, black can give a perpetual check. And rook d8. Yeah. And that's the best he can do. But he didn't take on, on h7 in the game. He he got this right. He played knight c5, check and king d2. Mm. And it's all safe, no? Because now the knight is coming to d3, if anything. And this is a very safe square for the knight. It's actually... So that would also have been the plan if black would have went uh, rook d8 first move, then the knight would have jumped to d3. Yes. Yeah, yeah. knight d3 is the is the idea and cover the king so now he plays rook g8 but it's really not much more here no, so many pawns an army of pawns <laughs> and now just push them b4 okay and they kept playing but this is already very much winning for white so i think we yeah. can move on to the next uh, game and I'm going to add a very famous game, which we have to see, his win against Kasparov oh. <laughs> in Linares. Um, why does the title say Ivanchuk? Because all these games are Ivanchuks. <laughs> we it's are not analyzing. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence, no. It really is Ivanchuk in spirit with us. So how do we start here? I've started from this position because I liked very much how he started building the attack. Uh, there's a more important moment later on. But this is the first uh, critical moment of, of the game. Black has just played queen c5 and he offers the trade of queens. What do we do? We don't accept it. We don't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> if we have to build up an attack here. Okay, if we don't accept it, then we only really have queen d3 i guess yeah uh let me see if there are any other no actually here queen d3 no it's, it's yeah not very... it seems like the only... <laughs> sorry i was just yeah. uh, trying to keep up with the with the chat here uh yes <laughs> rook g8 and now rook e1 Improving pieces, queen g5, and this is the part that I liked. Uh, I liked a lot. Okay, first we have to defend the checkmate on g2, rook g1, queen f4. How do we defend the pawn on f2 now? Um, Many ways. Yeah, I'm just thinking about. I want to make these knights a bit more happy. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where they want to be because I feel like if we should get some attack going, the knight should be like some key attackers. Uh, and they're not that attacking right now. No, they're not. That's true. Um, so I'm actually looking at playing e5 
But E5, of course, seems like it's opening up. Um, it's a little bit counterintuitive because it, it opens up like if black They're very aggressive. So. Like this. But then we get, yes, yeah, so that I can get one of the knights to E4 because mm -hmm. black has okay. these weak squares. So maybe we don't defend an F2. Oh, we do like, like, sort of defend an, an <laughs> F2 if we could get a knight to, uh, to E4. Um, and then D6 would also be, yeah, I think I would want to go aggressive here and play e5 in the spirit of you would want to go e5 here no he actually yeah. defended the pawn on f2 no. knight f3 suggested by anna and mark are possible um one sorry knight d1 is also being suggested knight d1 is a bit passive it is possible but i think it's quite a passive to bring the to bring the knight back to d1 um there's also f3 and this is actually one of the moves that I wanted to discuss, that he doesn't want to play f3, I think, because he wants to really avoid of, um, weakening the king's side. Mm. It's not that anything will happen after f3, but you don't really want to give black these, these squares to play on. No. So he defends, but <laughs> this is the way he defends, rook f1. Okay. Because he, re he needs the knight on d2, like you suggested, the knight wants to attack the pawn on d6. We'll see how later. Also, the point of uh, all the defensive moves White has played is that it's over for Black. He had two threats. Uh, they've been defended and that's all. So it's about patience also. It's about patience also, yes. <laughs> he wasn't uh, scared by Gary Kasparov throwing arrows at him. He's just calmly defending and now... look. He plays I would be very scared, I think. <laughs> <laughs> just by seeing him in front of you, no? <laughs> just... Yeah. On the other side of the board, no, not not Ivanchuk, of course. Knight e2, now kicking the queen out, queen h6, and let's see what do we do here. <laughs> I'm still have I still have some. I sometimes do this where I kind of fall in love with the move, and right now I believe really yeah. just want to Okay, back. so um, look look at your move. Okay, so if we go e5, uh, black has a few options. He can take it either way, or maybe he can even play something else. But if he if he walks, if he plays something like f5, then I'm going to take on d6. And if he plays d5, then probably I'm just going to take on d5. So I think he has to take it. Mm -hmm. and, and my point is that either way he takes it. f takes, I think. Looks yeah, f takes. Tempting. Probably then... Uh, I want to play knight e4. I like your idea. Yes, you have to do something about that knight. Yeah. What would the difference be? Maybe the difference is that here I can play d5 on that position that it's getting... Uh, do you want me to play c5 instead? So then yes. I could... <laughs> That's ah, what okay. I want you to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what I want you to do. c5 is, is slightly... No, slightly no. It's better than e5 because... Let's see e5 actually. The difference. And I just want to say that we do read the chat sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep up, especially yeah. now that there's a lot of uh, talk here. <laughs> and we both have Twitch and YouTube open. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Slowly, just quickly reading uh, everything. Okay, so E5 is what you are uh, saying. And here I want to take with the F pawn 94. And maybe uh, you want to go d5 now? d5 after knight e4, yes, and f5. Because you, take... if I play f5, you want to take on d6. Yeah, so you want to play d5, c takes d5, f5. Mm -hmm. Then I have to move my, my knight. <laughs> or you can take on e6, but I feel like I'm, black is also getting some activity. Oh, the bishop yeah, suddenly okay. open. Okay. And we don't want the bishop, these bishops to come to life. So here he goes for c5. Mm. f4. Um, f4 was also suggested. I think f4 is not a bad move here. No, f4 is obviously something white can play. <clears throat> f4 and then how do we continue? f5? 
what would be the next move. I guess so. I think there are many, many good moves. Yeah. That four. Probably a five. No? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that at some point black can also bring uh, the rook via c5. Um, after f5, maybe he gets the square e5. Should be still much better for white. But uh, in this position, I like how he uses the pieces. Oh, it's mm. try to make all the pieces better and include them all in the attack. And that knight on d2 is uh, was a very sad piece. Now after knight c4... There will be a lot of pressure. D takes e5 was the best move that black had in this position. Um, and this is because after knight c4, he can actually defend b6. Attack and the att if, if, if rook d1, then just... Maybe just rook b7 and defend patiently. Yeah. No, rook b7, I think... There must be something. Knight d6 looks good. I don't know if a move like e5 afterwards doesn't yeah, also work. Yeah, interesting. In that position, no. It's it's very painful to defend here. Uh, rook b7. We can also take on b6 actually. Mm, yeah, then the rook is no longer uh, defending for real. On d7, yeah. No, oh, bishop c8 maybe then. <laughs> Just the only... Stay stay put. Bishop c8 and try to survive. Uh, but it's obviously a very uncomfortable position for black. Yeah, then knight d6 maybe. Knight d6... Yeah, you can play knight d6. Do we want to give up that knight yet? If it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I mean, if it's uh, uh, bishop c8, knight d6, bishop takes d6. You want to checkmate on d8. Yeah. Or d7 if he then moves the bishop. That wouldn't be checkmate, of course. So then maybe bishop d7 and queen d7, king f8. Yeah, but okay, you can uh, take on b6 instead of going for checks, probably. Yeah. Yeah, knight d6 should be okay in that position. But still, this was better than the game, because in the game he played rook c5, and here white's pieces really got in, knight c4. Uh, and now it can't defend. Nah, now, now just no, cannot defend everything. Yeah. King f8, and now he takes b6. Mm. Takes b6 to create a pass pawn. This way you have an extra idea on, on the other flank. Bishop e8, and now he plays f4. Uh -huh. Yeah, the idea is to play f5 now. And open the position even more. Get the square d5 for the knight. That would be nice. And here Kasparov plays f5 himself. I was wondering what happens if he plays king g7, which looks like a very natural move to, to get out of there. Maybe hide on the h file, but here uh, g4 looks really good. Yeah. g4 in this position. Okay, black doesn't have to take, of course. He can play king h8, but rook c1 maybe. Try to enter on the c5. Play on both flanks. It's a very good position for white. The game was f5 here. Pawn takes f5, rook takes, and rook c1 in this position. King g7. And here we see the same idea, g4. But this is not the only move. Just in case you were wondering, a move like knight c8 also works. And then push the pawn. Sorry? Yeah, that looks good. That looks natural, no? Yeah. To advance b6. Rook d5. Queen e4. And when the bishop moves away, then we go b6. Mm. So let's see g4. Rook c5. 
now he takes and here is where he plays knight c8 bishop f8 what do we do with white in the meantime i'm going to read the chat here yes okay we could go for a one yes this is Ivanchuk versus kasparov that's right B6 is suggested in the Twitch chat. Yeah, I'm looking at G Java. I'm just trying to uh, figure out because as soon as I, I mean, either Bishop uh, C5, C6 straight mm -hmm. away, or as soon as I go B7, then uh, Bishop C6 giving a check and picking up the pawn. That's a good point, um, yes. So I'm trying to figure out what to do against, because that's a good thing about having the pawn on B5, that there's no Bishop uh, c6 so that's a good point this is why i stopped in this position because yeah. b6 looks like a terribly tempting move that's why we want to play <laughs> yeah that's what we want to do here but if you play b6 then uh, bishop c6 and the pawn is stopped the king is not so safe and the black queen is going back in the game i was also looking at g5 mm-hmm um but then after queen g6 i'm not really sure what i should uh do because i'm not sure i mean maybe i can just move the queen yeah i'm just um but i'm not sure what i accomplished by playing g5 then uh f5 could also be considered queen f3 and then Oh, and then g5. I thought queen f3 and then b6. I was going to say that in that case, e5 is. Ah. Um, because you get your queen right in the diagonal of the bishop, so there will be ideas of pushing the e pawn when you push b5, b6. Yeah. But, uh, queen f3 and f5. Or and g5. Um, it's probably the same, uh, move, moving the queen to g6. Right now, I'm most tempted to play f5. f5, but the king, they won't take, no? King h8, maybe. No, <laughs> it would be nice if they take, but... They won't, uh, black won't no, it's cooperate. Also to bring this knight into the game, but it can't go to f4 anyway, of course. So maybe I should include it some other way. But it also has to stay protecting f4, so maybe that's not the white. No, you... Ah, the knight. Yeah, uh, there's a suggestion of queen c3 and queen f a5, of course. That's one idea. Queen c3 and queen a5, yeah. Pick queen up the pawn. D8, queen d8 also looks um, and like... Queen d8 also looks very tempting, yeah. Um, king, queen, fork, threats, I see. Yeah, maybe something about the f5 square, but it's as long as there's a pawn on e6, it's, it's kind of hard. He went uh, for queen d8. Yeah, queen here with the bishop. Is that true? Maybe it is. The, can you... the bishop has no place to go, but it's not over yet. Queen g6. What do we do here? <laughs> because of uh, <laughs> queen e4. In... So the big question is what happens after queen e8, right? Yeah, then queen e4. Not really queen e4. You can defend against queen e4. I would rook g2. Yes, with rook g2. Yeah. Mm. Queen e4, rook g2. Yeah. But then maybe we can trap. Okay, maybe we can trap the queen. Let me just see. Is it because black has some nice move with the bishop? Something. No, <laughs> no, no. No, what's so good about? Let me let me play it on the board. Queen e8, and let me even flip the board. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what's so good about this? Oh, I'm also gonna flip it. 
So now we're going to find out what what black, black plays here. Yes. Uh, How will black survive this position? Um, maybe queen d3. Queen d3. Yeah. Queen d3. Yes, that is yeah. the move. Queen d3 in this position. Threatening this knight here and threatening this harmless pawn on h3. <laughs> harmless, harmless. <laughs> so we have to defend against the checkmate and yeah. play rook g2. And here it's going to be only a draw, probably, queen e3. Mm. If we go king f1, this pawn will run also. Peace up, but the knight is on c8 and in the meantime the, the pawn is running. The king yeah. is all alone. Mm, yeah. So, not taking the bishop on e8. So I'm going to oh, go back. What if we have played uh, after? Okay. Sorry. I think tell me. In that in that uh, line we just showed. After which move? No, sorry, I missed something because the pawn is still on c c5, so we couldn't have gone. Uh, mm -hmm. Given the check with the bishop. Oh no, the pawn was on c5. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we have to do here? I've seen. Uh, some ideas okay. in the chat. I I saw some F five. Yes, F five. Yes. I saw it. Yes, that's suggested true. a few times. You want to cut the queen, of course. F five here. Not allow queen d three. Okay, and if pawn takes, you win the queen. <laughs> that helps. Oh yeah. So he goes queen h six. The black pieces are just so. Uh clumped together right yeah but still you see that he finds all these resources yeah it's not so simple to win this can we just go g5 okay of course we go g5 because now he wants to play queen to e3 if we take yeah. the bishop so g5 goes queen h5 and here rook g4 ah uh, that's a nice way to stop the activity yeah and cut the queen completely takes on f5. I guess we have many ways to win now. Knight f4 is what Ivancho played. Okay. Also best. Queen. And, yeah. Yeah, queen f6 and rook h forward. Yeah. Yeah. And this was a very nice final position where black resigned. <laughs> they always resign like <laughs> It's getting you really annoyed, I see. Yes, I think you should be allowed to uh, make checkmates every once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> especially after such a nice game. Yeah, and against Kasparov. So this was a nice king hand, but it 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 was not such a, a huge attack. It started with all these strategical ideas. This c5 mm -hmm. is more of a not such an aggressive move, like but very. It's still positional still ideas as well. I think sacrificing a, a pawn. Yes, of, yeah. of course, but it looks more like a, a positional sacrifice, not the kind of uh, sacrifice uh, after which you go for checkmate. But of course, the king in the center is is a huge part of of this plan. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we saw the two games that I really, really wanted to show you. Uh, the ideas of with rook c3 and with this I think we are going to finish for today right do you know who uh, who's going to be the next, the uh, next not yet but we can discuss that over a cup of coffee Sophie oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> we can pick out on the Sunday yeah I'm going to think about uh, the next player so we don't miss anybody um, just reading the chat black is Ivanchuk yes Ivanchuk was White, actually, sorry. Uh, Kasparov was black in this game. And what else? What else did I miss over here? Yeah, yeah, C5. <laughs> yeah I was going to say the same. I like C5. I like this, this kind of moves that sacrifice a pawn just to free a square for your piece. They are very elegant, I think. Thank Have you, everybody, for what? Sorry? Uh... We haven't done Nakamura yet because no, we're we haven't. somewhat chrono 
<laughs> chronological, <laughs> yes, somewhat yeah. chronological. Like Amura, we also have to probably see Dubov, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of the new ones. How do you drink mm. coffee with mask on? Well, here, if you are drinking coffee, you are allowed to take your mask off. And actually, terraces are open, which is the reason why Sophie came all the way to Bucharest. <laughs> So long for a cup of coffee with my coach. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so we just hope for good weather on, um, on, on Sunday. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you all very much for joining us. Don't forget to check out coaches.com, uh, this great coaching platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out coaches. <laughs> Highly recommended. Thank you. Thank you very much.